Hello, hello! Welcome back to Whiskey with E. I'm Eric. Now today, for another unscripted, unedited, unprofessional review, we do have a Whiskey with the E. So, we have... This is the uh, limited edition Jack Daniels number 7. It's the 155th uh, anniversary celebrating good music, good whiskey. Um, the design of the label is designed by a pentagram team led by Paula Shear. I think she's a really renowned, known graphic designer. Alright guys, so, comes in at 43%. So, for everyone that sees this in your stores, don't think that it is the regular old number 7 at 40%. This is actually 43%. So, it's going to be a whole lot of a better animal. Because the lower the percent, the more of those esters and the oils and all the flavors are going to get stripped out so i already know this is going to be slightly better but is it going to be worth the money you know let's check it out all right so i will show you the bottle <laughs> i've been enjoying some all right so it has a limited bottling number at the back Oop. all righties look at all the musical references see it's like jack up the volume takes two two drumsticks six strings and some jack mix well best served loud what's this music has its soul jack has its spirit see they got all this mellowed for smoothness through sugar maple charcoal in case anyone is wondering and in case anyone didn't know this they don't class it as a kentucky straight bourbon whiskey because you know they, they, they want it to be a little bit different so it's a Tennessee whiskey pretty much it's the same as a bourbon it just has an extra method an extra step that they run the spirit through a vat through sugar maple charcoal and it just gives it this extra sweet smoothness so they say I'll have to leave it up to you to try but I'm gonna pour some up alrighty guys and then we'll have a little read at the back. Alrighty, guys. Now, such a lovely pop art, isn't it? Look at it. So pretty much it uses photography. All right. Photography. Hold on. I've got notes. <laughs> <clears throat> the label makes fanciful use of typography. Typography and adds graphics of guitars and trumpets and other music related things like CDs and musical notes to celebrate 155 years of good music, good times and good whiskey. It was just notes guys, it was just notes. So look at all the guitars, you see all the uh, designs on the bottle there. Alrighty, so Jack Daniels, typical mash bill, 80% corn, 12% barley, 8% rye. Just drop the box. I'm gonna need to get that to read the back. <coughs> Alrighty. So at the back it reads, where there's Jack, there's music. Drumsticks, it's pretty cool. If you listen closely, you can almost hear a song coming from this bottle. Because this limited edition Jack tells the story of 155 years of good music, good times and good whiskey moments. Oh, good whiskey. Moments that stretch out from the hole in the wall, dive bars to sold out arenas, from glasses of Jack raised by first time guitar players learning basic chords to the most iconic musicians like Mr. Sinatra. Hey, just had to throw that in there. Jack has always loved music, but we're humbled that music has always loved us back. To celebrate our deep roots in music, we turn to legendary designer Paula Shear, or Shear, am I pronouncing that right? Spelled S-C-H-E-R, sorry, my English, all right, <clears throat> who's no stranger to designing famous album covers, and now she turns our old number seven bottle into a music museum you can stare at, or better yet, sip. All right, that is a good point. Will you stare at this, or will you sip it? All right, so... This limited edition bottling here comes in at $70 to $80 in a 700ml bottle. Yes, it is 43%, but is it that much better than the $40, $45 standard Jack Daniels? 
So that that's what we're here to see. So as they say, you're going to stare it. So that's what I mean, guys. This this wouldn't be for the whiskey connoisseurs, all right? You're going to look at this and probably think it's low in proof. It's it's expensive. So this will be more if you are a Jack Daniels fan, if you're a Jack Daniels collector, I'm sure you're going to need to add this to your collection. Or I'm sure you're going to want to try. All right, so let's put that up there. Oh, dear. Now, color. Color is actually a lot darker than the standard number seven. I mean, it is a beautiful copper, golden, beautiful color. Look at that. It's just golden, guys. The standard Jack Daniels, it's going to come out a lot more yellow. You know what? I'm going to do a comparison later. But before we get to that, let's see what this limited edition Jack has to offer. So on the nose. All right, so straight off the bat, that that maple, that Lincoln County process, that sweet bananary notes is coming out straight off the bat. You're getting slight pears, slight apples. There's a bit of a spice there, like a bit of a peppery spice, or maybe it's uh, like oaky tannins, but it's like a dry oak. It's not like a, a sweet, savory type of dark oak. You know, I, I just came from Kentucky Spirit, so that's a whole lot darker. But, is it nice? It, it knows it's really nice right now. It's definitely a whole lot better than the standard number seven from my memory, but we will compare. I mean, it's sweet. It's inviting. I mean, you are getting some slight ethanol fumes, so you do get a impression that it might be a little bit young. I mean, it has no age statement, but all Jack Daniels is typically four years or so. Don't quote me on it. I mean, they're, they're not stating the age in this, so we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna put it at four years, guys. Maybe a little bit more. Who knows? All right, guys. All right, let's just get right into it. So on the nose, it's just. It's just the bananary, the maple wood, you know, but there is elements of the vanilla and the caramel coming through. So you're getting that bourbon type vibes in this Tennessee whiskey, even though they say, what is it? All Tennessee whiskey is bourbon, but not all bourbon is Tennessee whiskey. There you go. Alrighty. You know what? Let's get right into it. Cheers, everyone. All right. Everything you get on the nose transfers on the palate. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to drop the S-bomb. It's 43%. It is obviously smooth. But there is a bit of heat that comes on on the end. So a little bit of a pepper spice. You are getting some dry oak vibes. But it's not, it's not too bad as if, like, it's bitter or anything like that. It actually works well with the sweetness of the... The sugar maple side of things, that that sweet pears and the apples, you know, that that's just working well with it, guys. See, I'm kind of lost for words right now. Mm. I mean, I don't normally buy Jack Daniels to drink, guys. I mean, I've seen this. I thought to myself, wow, Jack Daniels normally comes at 40%. I wonder what 43% is going to taste like. So here we are, guys, sharing my thoughts with you all. Let me know in the comments if you have tried the Jack Daniels number seven limited edition, 155 years of good music release, Paula Shear and the Pentagram team or something release. I don't even know what this release is called. It doesn't really say, but I'm giving you all the info I can, guys. But cheers, everyone. All right, guys, if you are a whiskey, you're on your whiskey journey, you're going to look at this and think, you know what, it's a bit thin, it's a little bit watery, the finish is relatively short, it's not a long finish, it's not, you know, it's not juicy, it's not silky, but is it good? 
I mean, I'm appreciating it right now. I can definitely tell it's better than the old standard number seven. Now, that being said, whoo, I'm getting warm. This light is really hot. All right, guys, I am going to pour up the old number seven to compare. Funny, I've never actually reviewed the old number seven as well, so here we go. Double review. The old number seven. So, same typical mash bill, 80% corn. <coughs> Got to look at the notes. 12% barley, 8% rye, alright, comes at 40%, now, now this little bottle here costs roughly $7, $8, I can't remember, don't quote me on it, but it's around that price here in Australia, now I better not confuse myself, so I am going to put the regular Jack num old number 7 in the left glass, which you can't see, but here we go. See, look how light it is in colour. Pause for the, the lid crack. <laughs> Done. Nailed it. The limited edition one. Oh, righties. Straight off the bat, you can already see, I mean, hard for me to see through these glasses actually. <laughs> Two sex. <clears throat> oh no, t total unprofessional guys, unedited, unprofessional. Hmm. Why is that hard to see right now? Maybe I need white paper or something. Oh, don't drop them. Hmm, you see a difference, guys? No idea. Do I see a difference? Ever so slight, ever so slight. Oh my goodness, I think I'm about to mix them up. Alrighties, let's put a lid on this before we spill it. I have to put the sunnies back on because it is bright in here and I am getting so warm, I'm sweating. Alright guys, oh my goodness, this, this video is going too long. Alright, so... The old Jack number seven. See, unedited, unscripted. We're just going with the flow, guys. I'm glad whoever's here joining in with me. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Join me on my journey, guys. All right, is the old number seven. Here we go. Keep in mind, the old number seven is made to be mixed. Ignore the dogs barking outside. The, you know, you can most likely drink this on the rocks, mix it with Coke. It, it was designed for that, all right? So... It wasn't really made for the, the whiskey connoisseurs, but we're going to give it a little nose and compare. All right, guys, here we go. All righty then. So, that maple from that whole Lincoln County, that charcoal process, it really, ignore the dogs, guys, it really jumps out really, really badly here. I mean, it is so sweet. So sickly sweet. That banana is jumping out a lot here. You know, they say Jack Daniels has a ban confectionery banana note. Yes, you can really pick it out. So really, there's not much of other elements in there. I mean, it doesn't really have that vanilla and the caramel and, you know, that, that oak vibes. But I'm sure it's nice for the beginner drinker. It would definitely be smooth. So, you know what? Let's just have a little nose of this too. Yeah, there's definitely a whole lot more going on. I know it's just 3% high, guys, but this is just light, bright, and sweet. This has light, bright, and sweet notes, but there is also dark, oaky notes in there as well. There's vanilla, there's caramel, there's actually other notes in there that is just making it more rounded. But let's have a little taste of the old number seven. Cheers, everyone. I say I mean if, if you're just starting off on your journey you're gonna drink this and be like wow that is so smooth and easy drinking but that's because of the whole Lincoln County process guys but when you journey through your journey I mean you're gonna you're gonna move on from this 
all right? I'm not saying this is bad. I'm saying it's where we all began. I mean, Jack Daniels is still one of the most popular drinks here in Australia. I mean, out of the nightclubs, out in the pubs, out in the clubs, you know, pretty much they have pre-mixed drinks, you know, Jack and Coke in bottles, Jack and Coke in cans, you know, so they're pretty much up there. Jim Beam's competing, you know, so this is just one of those mixes, guys. Right? Now, some water. The uh, limited edition version, here we go. Look at that. The colour's definitely darker. I mean, I can notice the colour difference when it's in the bottle, but keep in mind this is a smaller bottle. That might be a factor. I'll show you what I mean. Hold on. Let's have a little taste of this first. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. There's actually, there's a whole lot more going on. All right. You're getting that sweetness from the sugar maple. You're getting all that, what you're getting on the nose. But then on the end, there's just all, there's, it's, it's like a dry oak. It's not like a, like a sweet oak, but the dry oak is mixing in with the Jack Daniel sweetness. So it actually works well together. There you go. I mean, it just adds an extra dynamic to the old number seven. But, is it that much better? I mean, 40, 40 to 45 dollars for the regular Jack Daniels number seven, 70 to 80 dollars for this limited edition release. I mean, do I recommend you paying that for an extra three percent? Probably not. I mean, there's probably a whole lot of other things, right, guys? I mean, for 70, 80, you can get Russell's. I mean, I'm just a turkey fan, but. If there was other Jack Daniels releases that was in the ball, actually, there is. I haven't reviewed it yet. I haven't even tried it yet, but that will be next. So the Jack Daniel bonded, at least that's 50%, and I've been seeing that for 80-something. So really close to the price of this limited edition release, but extra proof, higher strength, and I'm sure it's going to be a whole lot better than this. Not saying this isn't bad. I'm just saying that this is just better than this. You can take that however you want, but like if, if you're venturing on from your Jack Daniels journey from this, all right, if you're just not a collector and you're just adding these into your shelves and you actually enjoy Jack Daniels, then I, I'd say just stick with the whole grabbing a Jack Daniels single barrel. If you can find any other releases, then that would even be better. I haven't found any Koi Hills, Jack Daniels, 10 year, I haven't seen any of that. So... We don't get much selections here in Australia, but at the same time, I, I try to try it all and I try to give you my thoughts, my honest thoughts, because they don't send me bottles. We don't make money from this. This is all my own money. So my thoughts is going to be honest. So there you go. But can you guys see the color difference there? Can you guys see that? I know, littler bottle, bigger bottle, but it almost comes out yellow. And then this almost seems darker, but it could just be the bottle size. But either way, this just confirms it all. All right. Jack Daniels, limited editions, 43%. That extra 3% does make the Jack Daniels a whole lot better, guys. I mean, if only they just made regular Jack Daniels, 43%, then it would be all good. But then again... Maybe the beginner drinker doesn't like those extra oakiness or the slight bitter oak vibes. They like smooth. Touche. Alright. Let's just go back to the Jack Daniels number seven. See how it's going. Cheers, everyone. We are going on to 20 minutes. I don't even think anyone's attention span is going to last this long. If you guys are still here, you are loved and you are appreciated. Cheers, guys. It's just too smooth. I mean, it's practically like drinking water. But to the, to the beginner drinker, this will be great. Because obviously, if you are mixing your spirit with Coke, you don't want to taste the spirit. That's why you're mixing it with Coke. So 
since this is so light, so not predominant with the big bold flavors, you're not going to taste it in your Coke. That sweetness is actually probably going to work well with the Coke to a good old Jack and Coke. There you go. All right, guys. Get some water. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add in an ice cube into this. Like, all right, so the only way I can really describe this, I'm probably repeating myself now, but the only way that I am really can describe this, guys, it's Jack Daniels number seven with extra doof. So the Jack Daniels number seven notes is all still there, you know, that the maple, the, all the sweetness, the banana, but you are getting the extra bourbon nest vibes. You're getting the oak, the vanilla, the caramel. That, you know, like that, the bitter oak barrels. Bitter oak barrels sounds bad, but it actually works well together with the sweet. So, there you go. But do I recommend you paying 80 for this? That is really up to you. If you are a Jack Daniels collector, then I can already see that you're going to go buy one because it's a limited edition. And Jack Daniels is good at what they do. Kind of like Johnny Walker's and... You know, DeAsio, they're, they're good at doing limited edition releases that appeal to the mass market of consumption, people that just drink, you know, people that can't afford to spend too much on bottles of alcohol, then these are the semi-affordable limited edition releases that you may find. Oh my goodness, it is getting so hot in here. I better quickly add in an uh, ice cube and you'll get out of here. Ice cubes is melting. All right. Well, hmm. let's just grab a piece. Cube. All right. There's two stuck there. Here we go. Here we go. I normally don't do this, but sometimes it's hot, and maybe this is what you're meant to do on a hot summer's day. And I just spilled some doing the old Matt Porter swirl job, but. Cheers, everyone. Just giving it some dilution. All right. Cheers, everyone. That just makes it even more smoother, guys. I mean, for, for people that aren't on their whiskey journey, you're just going to enjoy this. You don't even need to mix with this, this with Coke or anything like that. This is just beautiful on its own with ice cubes. If you want to start enjoying stuff on the rocks, to slowly work your way towards drinking it neat, then um, this is a good stepping stone. So from your 40% Jack Daniels, old number seven, you can progress to try the 43. Then once you get used to those extra notes of oak, ignore the dogs barking, then you're gonna eventually work your way up to the Jack Daniels single barrels and so forth and so forth. But Cheers everyone, drink responsibly and share your thoughts. Are you a Jack Daniels fan? Do you enjoy Jack Daniels products? What's going on? I mean, like, FOMO mine ap appealed to me when I bought this, alright? I seen it, it was the last bottle, I, I got it. Later, I went to other places and there was heaps of it. So, but keep in mind, even though you see it now in your stores, plentiful, they will run out. I mean, everything does run out, guys. So whatever you want to keep for the future, if you're a collector, you know, whatever. Why, why ever it is that you invest or you hoard or you bunker bourbons or Tennessee whiskey for, I mean, yeah, this may be one of those ones. But I'm not saying it's a good one, you know. If you know what I mean, there's different levels of collect. Oh my goodness, we're getting off topic. This is like totally a, a topic for another day, and I am getting so hot right now. I better go, guys. Cheers, everyone. Oh my goodness. I just feel the flavors are muted. The flavors are too muted when you're having it with ice cubes. I mean, it is nice. It is just sweet. It's it's just like drinking water. Oh my goodness. Yep, too sweet. Too sweet. No, too too sweet. I mean, too watery. It's just too muted. 
drink it neat guys drink it neat all right if, if you're spending eighty dollars on this whether or not you're gonna put it on your shelf to stare at like it said on the box or you're gonna sip it or enjoy it i really do recommend you uh try this neat guys all right like comment subscribe i'll catch you all next time going for too long sizzle